Good morning. It is Friday the 15th of July. Um, it's nearly 8 o'clock, I think. Um, I've been up since half six. I gave myself a lion this morning because I was really enjoying my sleep and I needed it. Um, went downstairs, did the girls. They're all fine. They're doing well. Just come back up to do some journaling and stuff. Um, I've got quite a busy day, actually ahead of me. Um, so the pre-order for the new single goes out today, fingers crossed, need to check it. So I'll be promoting that. I've got an online interview at one o'clock. Um, what else have I got going on? I've got a coaching session this morning at nine. And then I'm off this afternoon to Rock and Ribs Festival with Stu and the band, which I'm absolutely buzzing for, because I'm doing a, um, like a special guest appearance, um, doing some backing vocals for him as well as singing I Need You. So I'm really, really super excited for for doing that. So yeah, stay tuned for what I get up to for the rest of the day. Also, this is how my brain works. I just want to clarify where I see this channel going. I'm going to keep the Becky Bantz, the Becky's Bantz series because I really like it. Rolls off the tongue. Um, and basically it's just going to be insights into what being an independent artist is like, the things that we have to deal with, the things that we have to cope with, all the mental wellness that goes with it, financial stuff, productivity, like all of that. I just want to give you guys a first hand sight into what it is like to try and spin all of those plates, um, as well as music videos and all of that other fun stuff. So yeah, that's what you can predominantly expect back on this YouTube channel. So I've just had the email to say that the pre-sale is live, which is super exciting. Um, so my initial reaction is to just stop everything, go sort this out and promote it. But I have to go eat, turn my laptop on. I have a coaching call literally in an hour. So my little ADHD brain just needs to chill out. But that's what it's like being an independent artist. You kind of think, God, I have to drop everything and get on the next thing when actually you don't you know that's just putting way more way too much pressure on yourself just do things as and when you can get them done um especially when you are the manager the promoter and the actual artist you have to kind of prioritize things and i need breakfast right now so that's my priority but um, oh i'm super excited to promote it oh, it's been a busy morning so far um i had my coaching call at nine o'clock till 10 with Marion. And then I had, um, so before that, when I was getting excited about everything, I went, had breakfast. I posted stuff on social media while I was eating my breakfast. Not the most um, productive way, but anyway, I was excited, so I did it. Um, I'm now in the process of changing all my Facebook, uh, all my social media banners. Uh, because the pre-save and the pre-order are now live, so I'm changing all of my social media to link in with the single. I'm going really out on this single because I'm so proud of it and I really feel like it's one of the best ones I've done, so I'm putting everything into it. Social media, everything, just everything. So I'm trying to get all that done this morning and then I'm going to go out for a walk while it's fairly cool and I have time. Um, my interview at one o'clock has been cancelled, which gives me a bit more time, which makes me feel better. It means I don't have to rush for them. They don't have to rush around. I've got a bit more time to get myself ready for the festival. So, yeah, all hands on deck. Mommy made me mash my m &Ms. Mommy made me mash my m &Ms. Mommy made me mash my m &Ms. So that's my warm up done and dusted. That's my makeup at least done and my outfit sorted. Um, I still have to do something with my hair. Um, it's not in the best condition right now. My hair's got really thin on the top, um, which is something that's concerned me slightly. Um, anyway, that's a video for another time. Uh, so I'm gonna figure out what to do with my hair. I might wear a hat, I don't know. It depends how hot it's gonna be. I feel like maybe plaits and a hat. I don't know. I mean, it took me nearly half an hour to figure out what I was going to wear, which is a record for me. So let's go and find out what I can do with this. And I'm officially ready to go. I've got these really cute earrings in, which my lovely friend 
bought for me for my birthday, I think it was. Um, obviously got my hat. I'm wearing plaits today because my hair is a mess. I'm wearing this, wearing my jeans, and I'm gonna wear my tanned cover boots. Put some lipstick on, and we are ready to go to Rock and Rips. At the NASCAR stage, just set up. Hey, <laughs> don't mind me filming. <laughs> Look at that view. It's gonna be filled with people, isn't it? <laughs> What's my face doing there? Look at this. Oh, I'm gonna trip over something. But this is it. Buzzed. Oh, this is the. Look at the NASCAR. Cool as that. rock and ribs couldn't stay uh, tonight unfortunately because I was getting a lift back um, but I took in as much of the atmosphere as I could the set went really well I think Stu did a great job um, got the crowd going and yeah it was just really nice to be back out and we sang I need you and the rest of the evening is just wind down maybe a glass of gin with a film feet up ready for a Saturday where I have an interview with the BBC Radio Wilkshire which is very exciting and they're going to play the single so it's all fun and games um, but that is the end of that and I'm going to say goodnight bye bye your next day so today is Saturday um, I had a really nice lie-in which I really needed um, I'm currently just waiting to go on to BBC Radio Wilkshire live, which is very exciting with Sue Davies. We're going to have a little chat and then she's going to play it loud at 17 for the first time on radio. So I'm so excited. I'm actually buzzing. So yeah, just waiting to go live. And then, um, yeah, the rest of the afternoon, got a little bit of cleaning to do, a little bit of housework. And then I'm going to play on The Sims, chill out for a bit, hang out with the guinea pigs, the fluff nuggets and... Yeah, that's pretty much what I have planned for the rest of the day. Hello, thank you very much for having me, Sue. Yes, <laughs> yeah, and I have ended up here. <laughs> uh, I have indeed. Gosh, what a question. Um, I guess I've always been surrounded by music ever since I was young. My dad was always listening to heavy rock music in his garage while he was tinkering with his bikes. My mum was always having listening to stuff in the car. My granddad was always singing. So music's always been a big part of sort of my life, really, from multiple people, uh, friends, family. And then I was heavily involved in musical theatre from the age of 14. So that was that was my passion. That was sort of my my real love. But singing's always been sort of the, the discipline that's been the strongest and something that I've carried on throughout. I couldn't imagine myself not singing. Um, and that's kind of, you know, what I'm doing today, really, just carrying on with the singing. <laughs> changed out of that t-shirt and come back into my scruffy one um I can't tell you how 
amazing it is to hear your song on a radio station. It's just, it's, it's incredible. And it's so important for an independent artist to be able to have that platform because people still listen to the radio. I mean, I predominantly, other than sometimes on Spotify, listen to the radio in my car. That's constantly what I listen to. So it's still a huge, it's, it's still a great, huge platform to get on if you can. Um, so I'm always thankful, especially to the BBC, for playing my song. So, <laughs> so excited. Hopefully it'll help with the pre-save and pre-orders as well. So, yeah, so um, I've got some other bits and bobs I need to do, but I feel like I just need to chill out because yesterday my head was all over the place. I was trying to do all of the things. So I'm going to sit outside, have something to eat and read my book for a little bit and then go back and maybe do some music stuff or I might not I might just sit in the garden and read my book so yeah let's see what happens Dolly, get involved. Oh, there's your puppet, Perry. 